Hello, my name is Cars82, and welcome back to our Greg Tech New Horizon series, season two. I am just kind of figuring out what I want to do, and uh, I just wanted to point out the my four oak bonsais here, just the very basic, they're like one one ones, uh, with the the stats. You can't even see the stats yet. Um, but pretty sure they're just the basic. Um, I got 20 oak wood, 5 oak saplings, and 1 apple from those 4 harvesting those. So you can see how uh, see how powerful those oak, those bonsais are. Um, so I'm just going to throw that in there for now. But uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to show how much you actually get from that. Um, it's kind of my like growing chest. Um, I've gone ahead and crafted up a couple tree taps. I don't know if there is actually a quest for it. I'm assuming there must be somewhere. But uh, I haven't really, like, looked. Yeah, there must be a quest for it somewhere, but I want to get it going now because um, if we want to... Uh, get some steam going or steam machines i'm going to need a source of water uh infinite source of water so like that um yeah so i want to get that and for that i'm going to need the tank that's already up here and uh if we see that we need sticky resin so i need the true taps to get the sticky resin and that's why I've gone ahead and done that. Yeah. So I'm not going to... It's good I can see all the crafting things. Um, but I want to get some... Before we get into this, like I said, I need to fill it with water. And I'm not about to sit here and manually fill it with water. So um, I think I am jumping ahead a bit with the rain tank. But... Uh, I'm just looking at this quest. I'm like, I need to craft up a ring. I could do an iron ring really quick. I'm not going to not worry about that. Um, let's go. What time is it? Midday. I did see some. Um, some rubber over this way. Do I have? I don't have my. I have to bring my axe. Oh, well. You can usually point them out. It's like these, I think. So it looks like there's actually quite a lot. Yep. You can see with the three leaves on top, that is the IC2 rubber. All right. There we go. There is our first one. I'm actually going to break this down. I'm kind of annoyed. I forgot to bring my. <laughs> forgot to bring me the axe, but oh well. I don't think these decay fast do they i feel like oh they actually do i feel like i remember they do something that other leaves don't do i don't remember what it is but uh yeah so basically you see these things you basically just right click it with a tree tap and then you get it now I'm going, I'm breaking these down basically because we can extract the rubber wood eventually. Can't do it right now for rubber, but I want saplings so I can plant a bunch of these. Still haven't got any saplings. That makes me sad. Getting willow saplings. I don't need willow saplings. Spruce. I actually kind of needed some spruce, didn't I? I wanted to do spruce instead of the. The oak. Ooh, look at all these berries. I'm gonna. What's it? And one of these days, I'm gonna remember which one it is. It's shift right click with an empty hand. I never remember if it's left click or right click. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, that's four berries. That's pretty cool. Um, hello, hobgoblin. This one doesn't even look like it has any... They don't always spawn with... 
uh, sap things on them. And this would be so much faster if I hadn't forgot my my axe. I was just so excited to go get uh, some sticky resin. All right, there we go. These there is one. Am I getting first saplings? <laughs> I don't remember breaking leaves, but maybe I did. All right, so let me get that, and um, yeah, I need to get these a bunch of these planted, and I will. I'll do that. I'm gonna get some spruce as well, so we can get this. We can get like a, a farm going. the The best way to get sticky resin is actually from crops, but I do not have. I don't have stick reed yet, but uh, that is definitely something I want to get in the future. Here we are back, and uh, just kind of getting my rubber area set up. I don't particularly like how it's on a kind of a a slope. I'd rather it be completely flat, but yeah, it is what it is. But basically just every other block growing a thing and then if I they have a sap, like there's a sap right there, I'll leave it. If it doesn't have anything, I chop it down and then if there's whatever the top Whatever the top branch is that has the sap, I just chop all that down. So yeah, that's kind of my little bit of a rubber thing for now. But like I said, eventually I want it to be replaced by stick reed. I uh, just haven't done that yet. So yeah, I'm getting kind of my farm a little bit more organized. We got our cotton growing. We're gonna need lots and lots of cotton. And there are spruce things. Oh, actually, here we go. So we got, uh, oh, I had some spruce on me. I actually don't know how much I actually got there because I did have spruce on me before I chopped that down. Let's throw that in there and probably throw all this stuff in the Coke oven, the fur. Kind of wish that wasn't lit up when it wasn't running. But anyway, all right, so to get the... Tanks, we're going to need rods. Fortunately, we're going to need a lot of rods. And we, at the moment, we only get one rod per ingot. So what is that, like 50-something ingots we're going to need there? The, yeah, we're going to need like 52. I may even, I'll probably even go through a file. So I may need to even craft up some more. Files. Yep, figured I would. Was the. F I don't remember if it was plates. I don't think it was. Yeah, I thought it was plates. So, that. So, there is. Did I need 52? There is the 52 rods that we are going to need, and I need the 26 of that, and then that's, I think it was soft mallet. Nope. Hammer? Yes. All right, definitely need some more wood. Let's use up the rest of this. I am going to I need more rafting tables let's do four more we'll turn these into that i do wish we could see what was actually on the crafting table i got so used to that Did look a bit dark there. And then this will just let us do that. So I'm going to do that. Need lots and lots of wood. Yeah, 
So since I can't see what's on them, sometimes I forget which <laughs> which one's empty. All right. And there we go. There is the 20. Apparently, they only stacked to 13. Or is it because they were made with different, uh, with different wood? Is that why that's doing that? I would laugh if it was like that. Let's get some of this put away. I need some more chests too. I'll do that in a second. But uh, let's go ahead and build this. So we want the basically the center of the multi block needs to be in the 90% humidity. All right, so I could probably. Eh, where do we want it? Maybe right here. I can always move it if I want to. It does kind of block me a little bit, but... Oh. Mm. Change my mind. I don't want it right up against the wall. Man, some of this weirdness with MBT data. Not letting me... <laughs> not... That led you to the stack. Different made with different wood. All sorts of craziness. There we go. And we are producing water. Now it's not super fast, but um it's fast enough for what we want at the moment. Um the cool thing about this also is that it will automatically It'll automatically export if you put stuff underneath. I don't think. Yeah, I think. I think those pipes are going to be a bit small. I totally have a shovel in my inventory, and I am breaking stuff by hand. But basically, what I'm thinking is we will pipe out the water into here. I'm probably going to do. What is this? Yeah, small. I'm probably going to do at least medium. Wood is relatively easy to get. Actually, it's really easy to get. Especially now that we have... Did I use all that? Now that we have um, some bonsais going, it's actually really easy to get. So um, it was... What was it? File and... Smell it and that. Hammer and that. Ah, it was close. So I think we'll probably do that. That's three times as much water. We don't need a ton of it at the moment. But uh, we definitely will. I do. Yes. Another one of those. So that is that. And then we will, uh, yeah, let's get the, the thing on top. It will go right there, I guess. All right. Use the shovel so people don't yell at me. see so yeah i actually don't think i have enough actually one come on oh that's right they i think they change the way the pipes work so they don't automatically connect unless you click on the actual pipe which is an awesome change if i don't say so myself yeah so I didn't click on that. It didn't connect. They also take a second to register. All right. Let me. Let me get crafted up here. Oh, also, I made some mud armor. Forgot to mention that. It's absolutely terrible, but super easy to make. And there's a whole bunch of mud in the, the river right up there. Um, yeah. So here we go. 
I need to start doing this. So that unfired clay. A lot of the stuff is pretty self-explanatory. I don't know if I really need to go through this at all, but uh, yeah. Let me. Um, well, why don't I just keep going? Not too bad. We'll just kind of see what goes into making this stuff. So bricks, we'll throw that in there. Where's my time in a bottle? So we need seven iron plates, one furnace, one iron furnace. What was the... It was three, wasn't it? I'm trying to remember. The three... It was three flints, right? For the... Yes. Oh. No. And I can't wait to get a better ratio for these plates. Because holy cow, we go through a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot of resources. All right, so that. I mean, something like that. And a hammer in the middle. Nope. Wrench. Totally guessing here. Oh, look at that. I got it. Didn't even have to look, and I got it. There's nothing but pro gamer strats on this channel. All right, there we go. There is the... So that's... Of course. <laughs> of course that's not the actual recipe, because, like, literally everything in this map pack has changed. Yep. <laughs> oh, Greg Tech New Horizons. Nah, it's actually pretty fun. Well, I like it. I know a lot of people would see that and get annoyed. But I do enjoy it. Actually, what am I doing? I have water in here. I have two buckets in there. And I have a thing right here. Let's just do this. And bricks. Go. I know I'm getting a little bit distracted, but I'm just trying to... Alright, so 16. I think that'll be okay. I guess I didn't need to hurt those two. Alright, so we got that, we got that, we got that, and I guess that's everything. Small coal boiler. Of course it doesn't click in, unfortunately. Because the, the tools. But there we go. There's the small coal boiler. So that's kind of like, I think that's the, is that the final? Yes, that's the kind of the final quest for the Stone Age. With that, we're going to be going into Steam. So there we go. Not going to take that yet, but uh, yeah. There is that. And then all this will get us into the next. Um, our first kind of machines that we're going to use. I did need to get some more medium pipes. I've already forgotten. Was it that? That. What was the medium pipes? Goodness. Wooden fluid pipes. There we go. Oh, it's not medium. It's just regular. Saw and mallet. Didn't I have that? I totally thought I had that. Hmm. What I do is. There we go. Go and throw this down here. And that will. Fill with water. So there we go. That is automated water for our our steam production. Now we obviously we only have one small coal boiler. It doesn't produce a lot. 
Um, but hey, it's a start. Now, just for information, if you ever start heating this up, if I threw some coal in here without any water and then tried to put water in there, it would explode. So that is something, never let this run out of water, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to craft that up. Um, and it will slowly fill up. Um, and I believe it goes even faster when it's raining. So. Fill that in. That is that. All right. Uh, let me take a look and see what we want to do. I'm kind of wondering what it wants us. Usually the forge hammer is one of the first ones we need. Uh, to get the forge hammer, we're going to need... An anvil, which we need blocks. Now we can't do blocks the regular way. Not what I wanted to see. You can't do blocks the regular way. You have to do it in a compressor. So to get the forge hammer, you need a compressor. And to get a compressor, you need red alloy. So you're going to need a alloy furnace. It's kind of the... Uh, Where is the called steam alloy smelter? It's not a furnace. There we go. So that is kind of the progression. Um, so there we go. There is the that advanced alloy. Um, and once we get steel, we may upgrade. Simple coal boiler is another awesome way to get um steam but we're not anywhere near getting that i would need to find a silver vein for that so yeah i guess uh alloy furnace would probably be the next thing okay we are back just got the final bit to the steam alloy smelter so there we go there is the first one and i will take that because i Need all the bronze we can get at the moment. So there is that. Now we will use that for the red alloy ingots. It wants 14. I do not have... I haven't found a redstone yet. I do have a couple pieces of redstone that I got from small ores, but yeah, I don't actually have the... I haven't found a vein yet. Because, I, like I said last time, I was actually pretty lucky with the veins. The, um, I just went three out, and I found both iron, copper, and tin all in a row. So I haven't done much exploring yet. Um, I'll probably go up. Maybe that. I don't know. I, have, I don't know yet. Um, I'll do that in between episodes, though. So, uh have to watch that but uh all right so there is the steam alley smelter one of the cool things you can also do is get uh bronze from that as we remember we got bronze dust from pulverizing or using the mortar on copper ingots and tin ingots <coughs> excuse me oh sorry about that um yeah, we pulverized the copper ingots and got the dust. And there is the three, so the terrible ratio. But if we do bronze ingots, find it in the alloy smelter, we can actually do the same recipe in the alloy smelter, and we actually get four. So we're already in improving our. I'll race there. I'll probably do ingots and uh nope. like I'll probably do just a couple ingots. Um but before we do that, we do need to get this going. Now the alloy smelter actually does take a lot of steam. Um so I think what I am going to do, and I usually do this in every Greg Tech. Uh, playthrough I do I usually uh, create a buffer a steam buffer I just find that it helps 
and let's see the tanks railcraft is usually the go-to in this it is a bit more complicated than normally usually it's just four plates but this one actually has screws and if we remember it's two ingots per plate and uh you only get two and it needs to be a three by three by four is the smallest so it's quite a big investment um but i actually think it is quite worth it and you look at the valves the valves require a large bronze plate so yeah the railcraft tank is uh quite expensive for this part of the pack um but it just makes everything so much easier when you have a buffer all right so once it gets up to about right around here it'll start producing steam i believe it's putting the steam in here um you can't see the internal buffer unfortunately but uh yeah see it is if we look at the tooltip it is producing steam uh not a lot the small coal boiler only produces what is it 10 no 120 120 liters of steam and it actually causes pollution that is uh i think that's new for this version i don't remember it causing pollution before so 120 liters of steam now if you don't know liters is the same as millibuckets um in greg tech so 120 liters is like 120 millibuckets per per second if we do the steel coal boiler which we might let's see and high pressure coal boiler um this one does 300 liters per steam per second causes a little bit more but uh i don't know uh obviously we are nowhere near steel yet <laughs> but all right so that is still filling up this internal buffer uh the higher it gets the faster it will the hot the heat this is obviously the heat um so the hotter it gets and faster it'll produce steam so it's producing yeah a decent amount um i can probably get one out of it but we shall see uh the bronze if you look at the recipe for the alloy smelter um we are doing we're doing not that one copper and tin this is the recipe we're doing um it converts basically it converts this into steam so 3200 eu per tick or 3200 eu it costs so you times that by two so it needs 6400 millibuckets of steam so that's kind of how steam works it is two times the eu amount and uh they are slower as we saw that recipe was 10 seconds and that took 20 seconds but there we go there is our our bronze so we won't be doing uh we won't be doing the dust recipe anymore um because this is a better ratio so yeah steam alloy smelter pretty cool also steam machines they do have an output on the back that's not like an item input or anything that is actually for steam all right uh we did not have enough steam in there unfortunately i kind of had a feeling we wouldn't i'm gonna disable that it won't ever work um, it's just going to keep using, it'll stop, use a little bit of steam, and then fail the recipe. Um, so it will never finish in that. So basically what I'm doing is just going to let that kind of fill up with steam for, you know, 15, 15, 20 seconds. And then uh, I will start it again. So, yeah. Um, at this point in the pack, we are just very, very slowly getting into steam. Um, I don't, I'm not producing a whole ton of steam. I can't run a whole lot of steam machines. Um, so yeah, this is just the very, very beginning of the steam age. Uh, but what I was saying is that this is actually a steam output and this needs to be free. Um, if it is, if it's blocked, 
Uh, the it won't it will finish this recipe, and then it won't actually like if it's like that completely blocked, it won't start again. So um, you always have to make sure this is free, and that is kind of why I oops shift right click will recenter it or reface it. Yeah, there we go. This is why I'm like one away. So the steam goes off the back and the steam will hurt, by the way. All right. Uh, that may be enough. Let's see. Hopefully it'll be enough. So it should try again in a second. There it goes. Now it's trying. It's using up the steam in its buffer. I wish you could see the buffer, but oh, there is no, no buffer. So... Yeah, and the Steam Alley Smelter uses a lot of steam. We should see steam come out the back. Yep, there is the steam, and uh, there is our bronze. All right, but uh, that is pretty cool that we have got that. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to find some redstone, and uh, I may... may try to find silver but uh yeah we can't that's kind of jumping ahead i really uh i need to find redstone so we can do red alloy and get some more i'm gonna do a lot more mining we need a little ton more resources lots more iron i mean the forge hammer recipe requires look at that five blocks of iron so 45 iron and uh yeah. Thankfully, it is not nine plates. It's only nine ingots. But uh, <laughs> yeah. So, kind of do a lot more of that. And also, we will continue with our farm. And uh, yeah, there's a few other things I want to get as well. Like shears. I want to get shears so I can start getting some wool, all sorts of stuff. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.